Hello, we're here to show you our latest project at Pirates Point Resort, Little Cayman Island. Little Cayman Island is part of the Cayman Islands, the smallest of the Cayman Islands. Pirates Point is mostly a dive resort located here. It's a beautiful place. And one of the things features here is that the owner, Gladys Howard, has an art contest every year. And the focus of the art contest is to have people make objects uh, from things they find on the beach, pieces of plastic or natural things. And we enter this every year. This year, our project is uh, about a cleaning station. If you're a scuba diver, you probably know what a cleaning station is. A cleaning station is a place where usually the larger fish go to have parasites or algae or other things cleaned off them by smaller fish and shrimp. So we thought we'd do a take on that. And our take is this cleaning station is a combination cleaning station and spa. So let me take you through how this was made. Um, there are several different elements to this. Uh, this piece over here, this main piece, which constitutes the fish, is a natural piece of wood that's found on the island. And we noticed it had kind of the shape in it. We thought, hey, that would make kind of a neat fish. So we made it a fish by taking other pieces of plant material, pushing it through here. This would be the fins. Down here would be the tail of it. We fabricated an eye out of some uh, this, I believe, is a roll-on deodorant ball we found on the beach of Tester. Roll-on deodorant, took it apart, made it into an eyeball. Uh, Gladys supplies the glue guns, the paint, nails, and other building materials. So that co constitutes the body of the fish. And now we have constructed the different animals which will clean the fish. These little critters over here are called gobies, and these are fish that go down and kind of chew up any little parasites and other things that the fish would like to have taken off it. This over here is a, and by the way, this is made out of a piece of kind of a tree uh, seed that's found here. Right over here, this is a banded coral shrimp representation. This is made of, the arms are made from a flip-flop that we took apart and painted banded. This body is just some piece of plastic we found on the beach. And this is other plastic we stripped and made into lines to make the antenna, etc. The legs are made of wires. The other uh, critter over here, this is a Peterson or Peterson uh, cleaning shrimp. And again, we took a flip flop and took it into pieces and painted it to look the shape uh, and the color of the uh, Peterson shrimp. Put some antenna on it and some eyeballs. It's holding a little toothbrush we found on the breach and cut down, so we've given it a good cleaning. Other elements are, um, you can see over here, this is a small shell with some filaments from some blue rope we found, taken apart to look like the tendrils and tentacles of a jellyfish. This is a little nut with some other pieces of wood attached to it that's to represent a, uh, a turtle. You see a lot of turtles down here, they're beautiful. Right down here is a moray eel. This is made of a handle from a, a little pitcher we found. And we broke it off. I carved a little face into it. Some teeth. Looks like a moray eel popping out of the reef. Right over here is a kind of a nut, which we thought looked kind of like a barrel sponge. So we cut off the top of the nut and put it on there. It looks like a barrel sponge. This is a hair curler that we uh, curved make it look like a uh, azure uh, sponge that you can find down here. This is supposed to be, this is an actual sponge, but we painted it to look, at, look like an elephant ear sponge. There are some crabs here. Let me go over to the other side. This is a razor blade holder, plastic, which we made to look like a magazine holder by putting some pieces of paper there. It looks like there's something for the patrons to read. This piece over here, which is the pillow, is actually a crab shell. There are very large crab, uh, land crabs that roam around here. This is a shell from a dead one. Coming across here, you can see that the fish, while relaxing with its bib around his neck, we made this fish magazine. So instead of People magazine, it's Fish magazine, the 50 most beautiful issue. That's a picture of Gladys Howard there. We cut out a magazine to look like she's featured as one of the 50 most beautiful because she is. 
and um, the rest of the reef is made out of pieces of sponges and things like that. Here are the services that the spa provides. It is uh, gill enhancement, isopod removal. Isopods are parasites that sometimes hang on to fish. Tail tuck, finicure, scale abrasion, and goby exfoliation. Part of the uh, little art project is to make a little poem. So here's the poem, I'll read it to you. Supposedly this is in the voice of the fish. Okay, listen up you people, please get off my case, just cause I'm not running in your human race. I've had a busy day biting Mikey's finger, so now I want to chill, just get pampered, and just linger. I must look fresh and rested for you divers to our nation, so I'll just have a little work done at this upscale cleaning station. Uh, Mike is the name of a dive master who was petting a grouper and got a little too friendly with the grouper and the grouper bit his finger, so that's what that first to. Anyway, uh, Andrew and I have a lot of fun doing these art projects. It takes a bit of work, but it's, uh, we have the time to do it, and it's, uh, it's kind of a blast. So if you're looking for a very wonderful place to stay with fabulous food, spectacular diving, and very nice, interesting people, it's a small place, I fit about 20 divers at a time. Anyway, Pirates Point is a, is a wonderful place to visit. We've been here almost 20 years, every year. Thanks. Bye-bye.